Bork all made and what they thought were principal decisions. Yes, ma'am. Hi there, Laura Jarrett from CNN. Thanks so much for doing this, uh, Mr. Deputy Attorney General. As you think about the importance of separation of powers uh, on Law Day here, any reaction to the news that certain members of the House Freedom Caucus have talked about drafting up articles of impeachment <laughs> despite your best efforts to comply yeah. with their document requests? Yeah, they can't even resist leaking their own drafts. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I Would you care that, to elaborate um, on that? I, I saw that draft. I mean, I don't know who wrote it. Uh, it really does illustrate, though, a really important principle about the rule of law and the distinction between the way we operate in the department. And we make mistakes. You know, that's not to say we're flawless. But the way we operate in the Department of Justice, if we're going to accuse somebody of wrongdoing, we have to have admissible evidence and credible witnesses. We need to prepare to prove our case in court. And we have to affix our signature to the charging document. That's something that not everybody appreciates. Uh, there's a lot of talk about FISA applications. And many people that I, I see talking about it seem not to recognize uh, what a FISA application. A FISA application is actually a warrant, just like a search warrant. Uh, in order to get a FISA uh, search warrant, you need an affidavit signed by a career federal law enforcement officer who swears that the information in the affidavit is true and correct to the best of his knowledge and belief. Uh, and that's the way we operate. And if it's wrong, sometimes it is, if you find out there's anything incorrect in there, that person is going to face consequences. Sometimes there are innocent errors, uh, but if not, you can face discipline or potentially even prosecution. And so uh, that's the way we operate. You know, we, we have people who are accountable. And so I just don't have anything to say about documents like that, uh, that nobody has the courage to put their name on uh, and that they leak in that way. But I can tell you, you know, there have been people who have been uh, uh, making threats privately and publicly uh, against me uh, for quite some time. And I think they should understand by now the Department of Justice is not going to be extorted. We're going to do what's required by the rule of law. And uh, any kind of threats that anybody makes uh, are not going to affect the way we do our job. We have a responsibility. And we take an oath. That's the whole point. When you take these jobs, you need to be appointed by the president and confirmed by the Senate. Uh, and that actually is a pretty uh, uh, thorough process. And then you raise your right hand and you swear an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. You promise to bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. And that's your responsibility. Everybody in the department takes that oath. We have 115,000 employees. And if they violate it, they know they're going to be held accountable. Uh, and I know those folks know that I'm not going to violate my oath.